Hello and welcome to a, another Bob's vlog, super summary one. It's uh, early August, what's the date? By the way, I can't remember. Is it the third? It's the third of August. Um, it's Friday morning. Uh, we have a fantastic sun behind the camera. I'm on the parade in Cowes and I'm just gonna, just gonna scan around. You can see the squadron there, Royal Squadron, with the, um, uh, the blue and white, uh, sorry, red and white awning. We are on Trinity landing. We're gonna have, oh, the cameraman's going a, a funny way. So this is some of the, uh, the get up for uh, Cow's Week next week, which begins, begins tomorrow. Where's the cameraman gone? There he is, and here I am back. And this is Trinity landing there. Bit of a detour for you there. This is Trinity landing. What have I got for you this week? I've had three surgeries, uh, cut a lot of people through, uh, and good to talk to constituents, and indeed bumping into constituents all the time. Um, we had Therese Coffee down. Now, Therese is a minister. She's in charge of marine conservation zones, two new conservation zones um, for us. Very keen on them. I want to make sure they don't negatively affect sailing uh, and the visitor economy and the sailing economy on the Isle of Wight. So we had a meeting down in Yarmouth, uh, and we had folks from across the island represented there and we discussed the boundaries of the marine conservation zone and how they can best work to preserve marine life but also to make sure that the sailing, um, very important for us, isn't affected. Next, National Farmers Union had a breakfast meeting uh, with representatives of the NFU to talk about agricultural bills post-Brexit, what farming's going to look like. I'm very keen to get as green a Brexit as possible and I'm, I want to make sure that the new farming arrangements work for small-scale farmers and specifically for farmers on the Isle of Wight because that's important to me and it's important to us on the island. We want to see the rural economy thrive, we want to see jobs created, we want to see fantastic success stories, be they the Garlic Farm, be they Brittlesford Farm, be they all these other people who are doing such amazing work, not only producing food but also selling it as well, which is important so that we eat locally, but also it's great for the Isle of Wight's identity as a brand that we produce amazing food, cheeses, yogurts, carbon classics, fantastic yogurts, uh, etc. So that was a good meeting, much to do there. Uh, and I will take, you know, when they give me a list of issues, I'm going to take that to ministers and say, this is what my farmers are saying, it's important. Finally, well, not finally, second last, penultimately, Cows Week. We are in Cows, Cows Week, very important, as in, as is our visitor economy. Um, and uh, getting everything ready here, so I hope it's going to be a fabulous week. I don't know what the wind's going to be like, but it's going to be awesome weather, so I hope we're going to have lots of people down and do come down uh, to the parade and see all the boats. Um, it is important for the sailing clubs on the island to reach out. They're not just here to serve one group of people and people who love sailing have got a bit of money or not. They're here for the good of the island. And actually the squadron and other clubs do really good work. And I was in Seaview uh, earlier in the week, had a great lunch with representatives of the business community in Seaview, at the Seaview Hotel, great hotel. Um, and the club Seaview Club was telling me that they've, they've opened their doors to primary school kids from Brading and Nettleston as well and they can come and sail and learn to sail there. And actually that's a model that we need for all the clubs to open their doors to local schools to make sure that the clubs and sailing is available for everybody on the island regardless of background. Very important. And indeed just on the final point of, of Seaview, um, they've got a new community shop which was fabulous and I went to have a look at it uh, and I'm ashamed to say I haven't been in the community shop yet and I was expecting something quite modest. Little did I realise it was basically a miniature version of Fortnum and Mason which is fabulous and it's there for everybody all year round and they have so much Isle of Wight produce, it's wonderful, as well as having sort of your Heinz tomato soups and your basics as well. So a great little shop and a very vibrant community. A lot of second homeowners for sure. Um, but the folks there who live there all year round are doing what they can to make it a vibrant community all year round and that's what we need to do. So um, have a happy sunny week ahead of you. I will be out and about as per. I'm here for the next couple of weeks on the island uh, so look forward to seeing you, many of you then and uh, enjoy Cows Week if you're coming up to Cows. Thank you.